Hi guys, it's Inamka4 here with the Galaxy S3 smartphone. We're going to take a look at how to set up a Wi-Fi hotspot using your S3 so that other devices like other smartphones, laptops, PS3s and Xbox 360s can even connect to it and use its internet wirelessly. First things first, what you need to do is turn on your mobile data because this only works with mobile data. You cannot share the Wi-Fi network. So once mobile data is turned on, go to menu, settings, and then more settings. And if I just bring that in a little bit closer so you can see it, you got tethering and portable hotspot. Tap on that. Then you've got portable Wi-Fi hotspot. Slide that towards your right so it enables it, as you can see there. And it's enabled and you can see it gives it a name of Android AP Active. We want to configure it really, I don't want to leave it at standard, so we'll tap on it. So it brings up settings. Slider along the top right is showing that it's on. You've got Android AP there. It's showing no devices are connected. It gives you some quick instructions on how to connect the other devices as well. And then it gives you a allow list at the bottom and the configure. We want to configure it, so we'll hit configure. And you can see the network SSID is Android AP, so I want to get rid of that because I don't want to call it that. I'll call it bugger whoops bugger off that'll do and as we're setting up or configuring any Wi-Fi hotspot you get the standard options like configuring to hide the network name being the SSID you can configure the security I'm gonna leave it on WPA2 pre-shared key I'm not gonna leave it open so there's some security on there you got the password there it's quite long there so I'm gonna shorten it down minimum characters are eight and just for the sake of the demo, we'll leave it as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Show the password, that's fine. I won't do any advanced options and I'll just click save while it configures itself. And that's now done. And as you'll be able to see, it says the instructions have changed, so it includes the words of the network that we've just called. Now you can even set up security on this so that if we click on allow device list, so that only certain devices can connect to it because you don't want to leave your network wide open. If you hit the plus sign from the corner you can add in the device name and the MAC address of each device so it's a lot more secure but in this demo we're just going to use the standard password authentication there so it's set to use allow all devices to connect so it should connect straight away that's all now configured this side so we'll get our trusty S2 so we hit menu then settings and then go to Wi-Fi off so we'll turn that on give it a second to turn itself on then we'll do another scan of what it can see and there you go you can see it can see bugger off there with a secured WPA2 encryption it's just connected to my home Wi-Fi so we'll leave it be there but we'll connect to the bugger off one now which is the S3's hotspot tap on it and as normal it asks you for the password so we'll just type that in That's now typed in, so we can now connect. And assuming I've typed that incorrectly, <laughs> that will now connect. You can see it's saying obtaining IP address and connected, connected to Wi-Fi network bugger off. And on the S3, you can now see what it says connected devices. It's got the Android name and the IP address and the MAC address of the device that's connected being the S2. Now, just to show you that it's now working, We'll come out of the Wi-Fi settings there. Just load up the internet browser and go straight into Google. So if I now go to say, I don't know, BBC Sport, that should load up the page. Uh, yes, it brings the search results in. So if I tap on the page to see if it loads. Yep, pretty intensive site, so but it does load. That works fine and just to show you that it is connected to the right one I'm now going to switch off the Wi-Fi hotspot on the S3 so that's no longer on and if I come back out of that you can see that's, that's now off now on this site you can see it's disconnected itself from bugger off because there's no no connectivity there so that's lost the connection as well now so that's how easily you can set up your Galaxy S3 smartphone to be used as a Wi-Fi hotspot and use this data connection so that other devices like other smartphones, laptops, PS3s and even Xbox 360s can connect to it and use this internet connection. Whether or not you'll want to use an Xbox 360 or a PlayStation 3 
while you're out and about is a different issue but if you want to it will let you if you like this video and want to see future videos like this please give us a thumbs up if you like what you saw if you got any questions or comments please hit them up in the comment section down below there if you haven't already done so hit subscribe from the button up top there it doesn't cost you anything and it's free and you can check out some of our forthcoming videos thanks for watching have a good day and we'll see you next time